how to fix requisition approval error so in this lesson I'm gonna quickly demonstrate to you the error that I'm getting while approving a requisition and while I use the manage approval button to look at the list of approvals so let me first show you the error I'm getting which resulted in requisition getting rejected and then we'll try to fix that error okay so let's first go into Oracle fusion applications all right so I am in Oracle fusion cloud applications and uh, before we proceed further to look at the issue and its associated resolution let me tell you I am in release 21b of Oracle fusion cloud applications and we are in Oracle fusion purchasing cloud at the moment okay now uh, looking at the requisition this is the requisition you see uh, I got rejected upon approval okay and uh, when I go to actions and view document history here it tells me a little bit more details about the rejection reason so the rejection reason was uh, approval encountered an error so maybe the system couldn't find the next approval in line at all hence it resulted in error so we've got to find out as to what approval rules have been set up presently and how to troubleshoot uh, this particular error so I'm gonna hit on done button and another thing what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go and click on edit button from the actions menu okay and then once it's edited you see the status changes to incomplete and under edit I will be able to change certain information over here now I don't want to change any information at all let it be as it is but all I wanted to show you was the functionality of this button manage approvals so when you click on that it will show us based on the approval rules that you have set up as to what approvals are required for approving this particular requisition so I'm gonna click on this one and you see what happens from the system side it shows us um, the list of approvals if everything is all right alternatively it gives us details of the error as to why we are unable to approve this requisition so here we got an error that the approval history can't be displayed because this task couldn't be assigned to any approver and the details of that is rule set didn't return any results reconfigure the conditions in the rule set header stage consensus rules for task rec approval so that approvals are found and model the rule set so that it returns a list builder specification so having said that I'm gonna keep this uh, session open just like this and I'm gonna open another session in a different browser and then we'll log in as application implementation consultant and then we'll try to go to the approval rules and this specific approval rule but into hell header stage consensus rule and see what's going on okay so let me hold on for a moment all right so here I've got another session and I'm gonna log in with the financial implementation user and here I'm gonna give a password and hit the sign in button okay and from here I'm gonna go into setup and maintenance so go to setup and maintenance like this and then from here from this particular setup list I'm gonna look for something to do with procurement so you see you have got procurement right here so within procurement you click on procurement so all the functions related to procurement the menus and sub menus will be listed over here right and here you see something called as approval management so you click on this one and here you've got something called as manage requisition approvals so since we are looking at the issue of requisition approvals we've got to look at manage requisitions approval but if we had an issue in purchasing or purchase order related approvals 
then you would be looking at manage purchasing document approvals okay so go in this one now manage requisition approvals and then you see we had an issue coming up this one header consensus so let me quickly change the session and show you the exact uh, issue we are getting so this was the issue we were getting rule set didn't return any results reconfigure the conditions in the rule set header stage consensus rules for the task rec approval so that approvers are found so header stage consensus rules is the rule we have got to look at and as you could see this is the default rule that is set up for approval so header stage header consensus and it's of a parallel approval type and voting regime is consensus so you click on this particular record you see this is enabled and uh, you click on edit rules okay and you see in this one there are a number of rules that is uh, set up over here and someone has enabled this gk approval wherein the requisition bu equals some gk ppl and gbu i don't know which uh, this is some other uh, bu it is referring to but that's not what we want so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come down here okay to make it simple i'm gonna edit this rule action and there's a rule condition and here i'm going to change this to this to a different value let's say requisition bu equals us1 business unit which is where we are in in terms of our requisition okay so let me try once again like this so you choose this requisition unit and once you choose the business unit you hit the ok button okay and now you see it is uh, pointing out to us1 business unit and once you do that then you go ahead and hit the save and close button and then you hit the deploy button so this latest updates to this particular rule will be deployed okay Now to make sure our changes are working and we are able to pass through the error i'm gonna go back to our requisition so let me change the view all right so this is where we were we're getting the error so i'm gonna hit the ok button to get rid of this dialog box i'm gonna go back and uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit on manage approvals once again and see what happens So presently it is connecting with approvals management getting the latest rules the rule set and associated conditions and if everything passes through then it is going to present as a list of approvals required for this particular requisition so since we have made the change to the rule set hopefully i believe it's going to get the latest list of approvals according to the rule set there you go you see we are not getting that error now at all so what we are getting is we're simply getting the approvals that would be required so this is certain uh, system specific approvals that will be required apart from the bu specific uh, approval that will be validated by the system automatically when you submit this requisition for approval so i'm going to click on back button now and the next thing i'm going to do is go back here and hit the submit button so when i hit the submit button this requisition which is presently uh, having a rejected status at the line level will be resubmitted for approval so hit the submit button it will take uh, 
around a minute or something to validate the approval from the background processes and then come out with the next step in terms of approval so if it is a system approved one then this change which is presently under pending approval will be changed to approved but earlier this status was rejected okay so now you see we got a message requisition 204114 was submitted for approval you can click on the ok button and you can either go from here in pending approval or you can simply go to manage requisitions and look at the status of this particular requisition so pending approval you can click on this one if at all something the system is doing you see you get a message action details aren't available because the approval process is being prepared try again later so wait for one or two minutes and then you can retry it once again so i'm going to do one thing i'm going to copy this like this the requisition number i'm going to paste it over here and hit the search button again so you can take this off because this was prepared by another user but presently owned by this user casey brown so still it is pending approval so the system is still working out in the background so give another one or two minutes before you come back and re-query it okay so i'm gonna okay look at that so it has been approved now okay so system has approved it so i'm gonna re-query it now the status uh, would then be updated you see now it has been approved okay and if you now click on the requisition and go to actions and then view the document history and that's where it will show you you see previously we were getting this error approval encountered an error but this time you submitted the requisition for approval and it has been approved okay so you go back here and you can see the change uh, right here at the top which i forgot to show you you see right here at the top you can see the status has approved okay so that's what has happened with the last action performed that you have submitted the requisition for approval the status changed to approved and that's what it is showing at the requisition header over here and at the line level you can see more details about this particular line by going to line life cycle if at all apo is created out of the blanket purchase agreement after the requisition has been approved then that po would be possibly shown over here you see the requisition is approved now okay with the approved line and a purchase order is automatically created from a blanket purchase agreement and the new purchase order number is 164184 with the supplier midtown computer supplies so you can click on this hyperlink to look at more details of the purchase order that's been created okay and you can see that the source requisition is the one that we have just troubleshooted and here is the source blanket purchase agreement using which this purchase order release has been created so basically this is how you go about troubleshooting the issues in your requisitions